So I'm here at Technicolor again today and we're just kind of finishing up on the grade so we thought we'd do another little update on how it's gone. So uh, after the last one of these we did, me and Pat kind of had a long conversation about the grade and then we kind of just left Pat to it and he, he did a couple of passes by himself uh, and since then I've kind of been in to see him a couple of times and he's also been sending files for me to check at home. Uh, he's sick, he's actually back in Japan so we've also been emailing stuff to him to check out and he's been sending us notes via the internet. Um, so Pat, how do you think the grade has gone? I think it's gone very well. I think um, I'm really happy with it. I think we've got a really good look out of what I've ever seen. Um, it's been really helpful having yours and Yusuke's input into how you envisage each scene. And I think the, the remote workflow panned out really well. So I think, I think I'm really happy and positive about the way it's all looking. I think we've got a really nice variety of different looks. Um, I think they all tie in together really nicely as well. So um, tomorrow we'll be doing a screening on um, in the projector room in the big uh, theatre um, and uh, Tom and Murat and uh, myself and Alex will be uh, watching it through on the big screen to see if there's anything that jumps out. But um, if things cross we'll all be happy with it and I think we're, we're very, very close to, uh, to locking the, the look of the film, which is uh, so exciting. Happy days. Cool, and let's just have a quick look. So um, just to show you guys, this is a still from the film, which is potentially flickering now on your screen uh, and this is the graded version of the scene we're going to toggle it so this is what it looked like originally and that's what it looks like now and you just want to talk a little bit about what we did Pat? Yeah sure and um, so with the Canon camera generally speaking um, a lot of the times when you're shooting it the footage will come through very saturated especially in skin tones which means that people's faces will often look sort of cartoonishly colourful um, so often the first thing you want to do in the grade is to offset that by pulling the saturation back down, often by about 20% as a starting point. And this shot is no exception, so we've really reined in those kind of uh, extremely kind of strong oranges and reds and we've pulled those right back down. It's also supposed to be quite a sort of intimate cosy scene, so we've brought the brightness a bit down as well to bring them into a more sort of uh, intimate moment. Um, just making the skin look as sort of realistic as possible and um, without draining them completely of any colour whatsoever. So, um, quite often you, with these shots you try and you try and draw draw the viewer's eyes into the important areas of the frame. You can do that by darkening off the edges of the frame. Um, we've done that in a few shots of the film but not in all of, all of them because if you do it too often you lose the um, impact that it does. So we've been selective about that. Um, but yeah, overall it's been a case of creating as, as, as realistic but as cinematic as we can from the um, from source of material and um, yeah, this is a good example of that. So I'm back here at Technicolor and we've just finished watching the film on the big screen. Uh, I think that was definitely worth doing. Uh, we've picked up on a couple of small tweaks that we'd like to make uh, but generally I think it's looking good and generally the grade's pretty much there. Um, so this is the room, here's our audience. Edgar, visiting DP. Pat, our co-producer grader. Morat, the editor. And there's Tom. Uh, Tom, what comments would you like to add to what I've just said? Um, I don't know. I think, I think it looks really great. You guys have done a lot of hard work. It's paying off. Um, just now, we now have to whip the sound into shape. And then with a 